Leipzig, a city with many facets. Johann Sebastian Bach composed his most famous musical works here. The city is home to Germany's oldest exhibition center and a number of famous memorials. The Battle of the Nations monument commemorates Napoleon's defeat here in 1813. Leipzig is also a city on the move. The main train station houses a three-story shopping center. And the city is renowned for its art. Leipzig artists are internationally renowned. Michael Fischer Art is one of them. He's known for his brightly colored comic book figures, pop art with realistic themes. His colorful murals brighten up the city. Fischer Art enjoys going to the exhibitions of his fellow artists at the Sprachkasse Exhibition Center. This is classical realism, showing people how they really are. We could put a decal picture under it and say, we'll make it into Lenin or Tailman or persecuted workers. That would be heading in the direction of social realism. The cotton mill used to be a factory. Today it houses the studios of a number of artists belonging to the so-called Leipzig School. The city's art scene has attracted a lot of foreign artists to the city. Japanese painter Aya Onodera is one example. When I came to Leipzig, I was pleasantly surprised. The people are very friendly and warm. It feels like home now. But most tourists visit the city to pay homage to one man. Johann Sebastian Bach, who spent 27 years here working as the cantor of St. Thomas's Church. The Bach archive looks after the composer's musical legacy. Michael Fischer Art also feels drawn to the church by the music. He's a great fan of the composer. Bach is like a grandfather keeping watch over us. When I listen to Bach CDs in my studio, it's something wonderful. It's connected with this place, to Leipzig. It was born here. Bach wrote some 200 cantatas for church services here in Leipzig. He played most of them himself on the organ in St. Thomas's church. This is a new instrument made by the organ builder Gerald Wöhl. The sound, the overall construction, the structure of the pipes and bellows, and the mechanism are made in exactly the same way as they would have been made in Bach's time. Bach close up. The experience strikes a special chord with Fischer Art. He's decided to make the instrument the subject of his next painting. But first, it's time for lunch. The Medle Passage houses Leipzig's second oldest and most famous restaurant. Celebrated German writer Johann Wolfgang von Goethe immortalized Auerbach's cellar in his play Faust. The restaurant serves local specialties. The Leipzig Lark is a very famous dessert. It's filled with marzipan nut paste, and the pastry is very light. But you've got to be careful to eat it only once a week because it's got a lot of calories. Back in his studio, the artist gets down to work on his new piece, the musician and his instrument, a work directly inspired by the creative city of Leipzig. <laughs> 